JNC's Corner, we are going to make a leche plan and with the help of our junior chef, Kayla, we're going to make a Spanish dish called leche plan and leche which comes from the word Spanish which means milk and in English it is called caramel custard. So join with us along the way and see how it is being made. So let's see our ingredients. Condensed milk. We, need, we have 12 eggs, 1 cup of granulated chicken. And we got uh, 1 can of evaporated milk. 1 teaspoon of vanilla egg. A little amount of water. A squeeze of lemon. Also, we'll, we may be needing a bowl and a whisk. And also, we will need a steamer. So, at the moment, we are boiling the water now for our steamer. So, you can prepare your steamer um, before uh, we start the procedure. We just mix all ingredients at this time. So now we're going to show you how to separate the egg white and the egg yolk. So make sure you got something to catch the egg white. Okay? Like that. So once you crack it, crack it in the middle, open it up, and let the egg white come out. Yeah, and you need to catch you need to catch the egg yolk never, with the other shell, okay? Never just mix it up. Yeah, don't mix it up. Or else it'll be like you know, it won't be uh, tastier. A good uh, leche plan. Um, we'll mixed in. Oh, okay? Yes. So this almost separate. So yeah. we'll put oh. it in the other hand. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly missed that. Okay. Okay, so just continue on the other. Um, I love eggs. The other eggs. Do the same. Separate the egg yolk from the egg white. Oh, there's a lot. It looks like, it looks like fried eggs. Eh? Mm. So it then needs we, a bit of a practice before it you perfect like it. We turn to cup to the other cup. One yeah. to the other cup. And then put it there. <laughs> like, oops. Done. It's like falling like Let's this. Let's see what we have now. Uh, so this is our 12 egg yolk. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, the next thing that we need to do is mix the condensed milk. Now we got one can of condensed milk. So after a can of condensed milk, we will put uh, the can of evaporated milk. Yeah. So after putting all the ingredients, just mix it very well. Keep mixing. This egg. Smells like what? Smells like condensed egg. Yeah. Mm. So what's the next step, Kayla? Mm -hmm. So we need a teaspoon for the vanilla extract, I'll yeah? I'll get it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you need a one teaspoon for the vanilla extract. Okay. I'll do that. Go. Ooh. Let's see, please. Whoa. Okay, now keep mixing now. So after after mixing it very well, what we need to do now is set this aside, and then we will make a caramel. Okay. Yeah. So now we're going to make our caramel uh, that we will put in the bottom of our pan where we're gonna put the uh, leche pan. So just in a saucepan, just pour uh, a cup of sugar and then you have to put a little bit of water just to um, mix it and dissolve it. 
and also we're gonna put a little bit of uh, lemon uh, a taste of it and also it will help to dissolve the uh, prevent it from getting too like an overcooked caramelized okay so let's uh, bubbly just to remind you uh, don't um, steam the sugar when we're when you're doing your caramel uh, just let it um, boil there and make a bubble until it get brown, gets brown now guys our caramel is What happened if you put lemon? Okay, so just keep tilting. It's like black, black versus no, it's like black versus white. Like the black versus white, it looks like brown yeah. is winning. Yeah, it's turning to brown now. Okay. Looks like caramel. And now our caramel, caramelized sugar is turning to brownish. Uh, completely br uh, brown dark brown okay you want to make it darker so our caramel now is ready to pour in our molding pan so these are molding pans um, just be careful guys this is very hot so beware children do not intend this at home do not intend this at home by yourself you need to ask for assistance of your parents parents or guardians okay so you need to pour it here in the molding sauce. I see. Oh, yeah. We must hold it so it can be anything. Tilt it. So tilt you, it. you need to tilt um, it. Tilt so that the whole Thing bottom will, be, will like be covered. Okay. Now we need the batter. Yeah. Okay, well, batter. we need to wait for a little bit until um, this caramel will get hard it will cool down and it will get hard in the so in the molding pan so guys we're going to check now if our uh, shoe or uh, caramel I would say has hard enough so if you notice if Kayla is tilting it up um, they don't um, slide down so they just remain like that okay so the and you can touch it as well, but just be careful if it is too hot. You can see it's already hard enough, okay? So now we're going to uh, put our butter in our uh, molding pan. But we need to use a Shaver. strainer uh, just to get rid of the lumps from the mixture yeah. butter, okay? Okay. This will be This is the one that we are trying to get rid of. We need to cover our um, pan with the foil. Kitchen. And that do not fit. Oh, it's too big. Wait, I know. Maybe we should um not. Maybe we should uh put that on it, and then we'll not put the lid on. Yeah, it's too big. <laughs> but anyway, we'll try if we can do it. Maybe we. Sh okay, so our molding pan is quite big for our um, okay. steamer. So what we've done is, in order to accommodate, uh, we to seal it, we use a bigger lid, okay? So, so hopefully, as a tip, I think we should probably you need to check first whether your molding pan is able to go inside your steamer before you um, use it. One. And now we need to wait for at least uh, 30 to 45 minutes uh, of steaming before we uh, check our lecture plan. Uh, it's been 30 to 45 minutes already, so we're just going to try. Uh, 
the leche plan if it is ready. Ready and cook. So Kayla is so excited. So this is our cooked leche plan now. It um, looks lovely. We tried to poke it, but it looks good. So we'll I'm see hungry. how it goes. You're hungry? Ready to eat? Yeah. Ready with your fork and knife. Wait a minute. Just wait a minute. I'll just pork it in. Wait, no, wait. I can't wait. So let's try it. We're just going to cut it, cut it. into a square, okay? That's not a square, that's just a rectangle. We need to cut it. So we can share. There you go. Can't wait. There you go. Hot. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> you blow it in your mouth. <laughs> How was it? Yummy. You know, Le Kayla is very um, good in eating sweet. She got a sweet tooth. Mmm. Can I have some? Yeah. Whoa. Masarap na mainit. I like the taste because it's not really that very sweet, but it has a yumminess when you bite it. So guys, I hope you learned from us and um, don't forget to share and like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.